In the year 2147, Earth was a thriving hub of technological marvels and cultural diversity. Humanity had reached the pinnacle of its achievements, but little did they know, their greatest challenge was about to descend from the stars. One fateful night, the skies over major cities around the world were illuminated by the arrival of colossal alien ships. The invaders, known as the Zarathians, were a technologically advanced species from a distant galaxy. They came with a single purpose, to occupy Earth and harness its resources. The Zarathians swiftly took control, their advanced weaponry and impenetrable defenses rendering human resistance futile. Governments fell, and cities were transformed into alien strongholds. The once vibrant planet was now under the iron grip of the Zarathians. Amidst the chaos, a small group of scientists, soldiers, and civilians formed a resistance movement. Led by Dr. Elena Ramirez, a brilliant astrophysicist, and Captain Marcus Steele, a decorated military strategist, they vowed to reclaim their home. The resistance operated from hidden bases deep within the Earth's wilderness, using guerrilla tactics to disrupt the Zorathian operations. They hacked into alien communication networks, sabotaged supply lines, and launched daring raids on enemy installations. Despite their efforts, the Zarathian's superior technology made victory seem impossible. One day, while analyzing captured alien data, Dr. Ramirez discovered a critical weakness in the Zarathian technology. Their power source, a rare mineral called Zentium, was unstable and could be disrupted with a specific frequency of electromagnetic waves. This revelation sparked hope among the resistance fighters. Captain Steele devised a bold plan to infiltrate the main Zarathian command ship and deploy a device that would emit the disruptive frequency. It was a suicide mission, but the stakes were too high to ignore. Volunteers stepped forward, ready to sacrifice everything for the chance to free their planet. The night of the mission arrived. Under the cover of darkness, a small team led by Captain Steele and Dr. Ramirez infiltrated the alien stronghold. They navigated through labyrinthine corridors, avoiding patrols and security systems. Tension was palpable, but their determination was unwavering. Reaching the core of the command ship, they encountered fierce resistance. A fierce battle ensued, with the resistance fighters using every ounce of their training and ingenuity to overcome the Zorathian guards. Casualties mounted, but they pressed on, driven by the hope of liberation. Finally, they reached the power core. Dr. Ramirez quickly set up the device while Captain Steele and the remaining fighters held off the relentless waves of Zarathian soldiers. With seconds to spare, the device was activated, emitting the disruptive frequency. The effect was immediate. The Zarathian technology began to malfunction, their ships losing power and their weapons becoming useless. Panic spread among the invaders as their once invincible defenses crumbled. The resistance fighters seized the opportunity, launching a coordinated assault on the weakened enemy. Across the globe, humanity rose up against their oppressors. The tide had turned, and the Zarathians, now vulnerable, were driven back. The resistance fighters, fueled by newfound hope, fought with unparalleled ferocity. The battle for Earth raged on, but the outcome was no longer in doubt. In a final, desperate bid to save their mission, the Zarathian leaders ordered a retreat. Their ships, now powerless and crippled, fled the planet leaving behind a trail of destruction. Humanity had won, but the cost was immense. As the last of the alien ships disappeared into the void, the people of Earth began the arduous task of rebuilding. The scars of the invasion would take generations to heal, but the spirit of resilience and unity that had emerged from the struggle would guide them forward. Dr. Elena Ramirez and Captain Marcus Steele stood together, overlooking the ruins of a once great city. They had faced the darkest of times and emerged victorious. The earth was theirs once more, and they vowed to protect it, no matter the cost. This was the first part of the story. If you want the next part, please let me know in the comment box. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.